All right, Liz. All right, Liz. Uh, you just passed two above targets. How good do you feel right now? Excellent. I'm so excited. I'm glad a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. Very excited. And I couldn't have done it without your team and Rob and study group. And then you just um, coaching me and guiding me throughout the whole program. And your accelerator broke it down very much for me into detail. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, all right, everybody's got their own little journey. It's cool to get perspective on yours. What's the short version? What's the what's the arc that you went through to get here? So, I had failed twice already the PMP exam. So, I was trying to study on my own. Yeah. Um, I did another boot camp before this, and it was just mm -hmm. it wasn't working for me. So, I kind of did not have the full understanding. And I didn't know mm -hmm. what I had until I actually went through your course. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, why didn't they just say that the first time? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why didn't they break it down like that? So it broke it down into something for me to be able to comprehend and simplify it. And that was something I needed because I felt like I had, was reading it and everybody was saying, you know, going over and over it again, the processes, but they weren't connecting for me of how they all connected. But when I took your accelerator course, it, it helped me identify how they connect. So luckily I only had one more time to do it and I took your accelerator course and yeah. So I, I think I just started your accelerator course in April and mm -hmm. then I wanted to take it in June, but mm -hmm. I don't think I was quite ready. And you're like, no, just get two more weeks down. And I took it again. And yeah, th that's my third time I had to pass. So yeah, I passed. That's awesome. Well, I'm super pumped for you. Uh, you kind of mentioned all the things that were wrong with the previous, and we'll go back into that for a second. But to stay on the positive side, what about the accelerator process and experience and all the coaching stuff resonated with you? What did you like the most? Um, I like the visibility of you breaking down, taking the the whole grid of all the knowledge groups and the process groups and breaking them down and say, okay, this is planning. These are the planning um, management plans. And then you break down into each group individually and tell you exactly what area are the main focuses for those key points. I think before I took my exam, that was one of the areas that I really focus on. And mm -hmm. then I understood once you go into the executing process, what are the main areas as well that connect with the planning group? And then mm -hmm. what connects with monitor and controlling and how it all combines step-by-step -step together. Um, also the agile, Mm -hmm. um program that was um that was great because it broke down each course and again i went through it and i actually read the whole agile book that was provided by pembach i believe PMI, MP, yeah. pmi yes so i read that and then i went back to your course and went through it again just to make sure i was able to connect the pieces based upon what you had and then reading the book and then put it all together. So that, that was a great benefit. For That's me. awesome. Yeah. And you talk about Rob. I know who Rob is. You know, who Rob yeah. is, yeah. but uh, is Rob's your accountability coach. What mm -hmm. was the process like? I mean, supporting you the entire way. How did that go? So we would meet on Thursdays nights and we'd go over questions and he, questions that we had problems with he'd go over them like as far as agile I think that was my biggest hurdle was mm -hmm. um, overcoming that because it was a, it was new and understanding the steps and the approaches and the methodology behind it um, mm -hmm. so he broke down the questions for us went over those again and made sure we understood the questions and how how we identified the approach when we do tackle the questions and how to break them apart um, he also you as well like i you guys asked me what is your biggest hurdles through the prog um through studying pmp what do you feel like you don't know um i sent an email to rob and he gave me areas of where to check and where to study um what areas to visit on your videos where to read through your um study items and online so it really helped 
um, identifying um, the answers of awesome. the study. Yeah. That's cool. And I mean, uh, I'm glad that you you felt supported and all those things. Like, what was the environment like? Like, the community is a big part of like what we're doing here, and it's kind of like mm -hmm. a family in a weird way. Like, I don't know how it happened, but it's it's here and it ain't going away. What was the uh, the community like in the calls and and otherwise? Um, it was it was good. At first, I was nervous because I didn't want to mess up in front of anybody and be <laughs> like, "Oh my gosh, this girl does not know anything." Right. So, um, at first, it was a little bit nervous, but the more you come in, you know, it was a very friendly, comfortable environment where you could feel okay to make mistakes and feel vulnerable like not knowing and just being open and um you and rob were very much like family being able to reach out to you guys whenever and you mm -hmm. guys like you automatically text back like yes i can help you like there's not a second of hesitation for you or rob so i really appreciate that i've never had um a boot camp before where where i invest so much into the boot camp and they're like, okay, well, I'm just going to walk you through it eight to five. I'm done. And then you don't hear back. You actually provided your phone number, text me, call me, emails, the same with Rob, you know, um, so that there was that connection. Other people, they would be like, oh, you can send me an email and they'll reply to you within 24 to 48 hours. By that point, I'm just like, Okay, but you really, I can really tell you and Rob have a passion for this and I'm really appreciative for everything you do. I can tell you love what you do and you really want everybody to succeed in your program. So I really appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate it too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so uh, the hard question calls, like if you were scared in Rob's calls, I can imagine you were more scared in my calls. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like <laughs> in those calls? Yeah. Um, so they were good. There was a lot of people in on the call, but you, we were able to get through it and um, answer the questions together. Um, the approach that you, you know, it was hard to first, when you look at the answers and questions, you just want to go ahead and pick one. Um, right. But when you step back and actually look at the questions and break them down, which what I did on the exam as well. Nice. Um, I was able to actually pinpoint one and I never felt like that prepared when I took the exam before and being able to say, okay, this one doesn't make sense. Um, this is good, but it's okay. I don't really like the answer, but I'm gonna go with this one because it, it would be the best fit for all of the other questions would not be the best solution. Um, but I'm able to, break down the questions. So it helped me get used to breaking down the questions in that manner and going through them and making sure you were picking the right one for the correct reasons. That's awesome. And then like on the exam, you did really, really well, obviously. Mm -hmm. And like, did the, the approach like that you went through, did that create comfort? And, you know, was it easier to go through the questions this time? And, you know, some of the words that you could look for and the feelings and the answers, like, how did that help you like mm -hmm. on the actual exam? Oh, so when I got to the, I was like, are these the same questions that I had the last time? Because I felt like, oh, it's like, duh, there's the answer. So I'd read through the questions and then I, there was four options, obviously. And there was two of them like, no, no, that's not it. And then there's, and then there would be the other 50, 50 that are left over. And I'm like, okay, why is this one better than this one? And I was able to just, snap and find it and move on to the next one. So I was like, okay, I can do this. I, and I felt more secure in my um, choices that I was picking through the questions. And, and I felt like I could actually see through the mud this time, like, oh my gosh, before I was like, which ones do I pick? They all sound really good. But um, with your program, it helped me like pick which one and eliminate and go through that eliminating process of identifying the correct answer. So yeah, it was, it was so much different than the past two times that I took the test. I feel it was like really That's good. awesome. Great. Okay. So a lot of people have like issues with like, you know, managing themselves emotionally, if you will, or like stress levels during the exam. Did you do anything special to like stay calm and stay focused? Cause it was, I mean, I don't want to put pressure, but it was your third time. Like you fail. It's over. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do to <laughs> control yourself? Oh, so Actually, I went through um, 
The second part of your videos where you go through um, identifying the negative comments that you were going through with the the lady i forgot her name through your video um right. but where you identify how you're feeling what negative thoughts are coming in let them out just take a deep breath and say i can do this i got this and i i watched that video and then my test was at 2 p.m that day so i felt like usually when you take them in the morning i feel you don't have that all that anxiety built up so um i watched those videos in the morning and then i was like still nervous and i actually meditated and okay. <laughs> i was like i need to breathe and regroup and just like let all this anxiety out and like just bring think positive energy and breathe in and that's what i was trying to do try to get all the negative thoughts because i invested so much time in studying for this that i had this and i didn't want to me be my biggest enemy and not believing in myself so yeah i actually meditated for like 20 minutes before my test so that's good. awesome that's awesome um so you're a project manager. You were before. You are now. Did your skills as a project manager change? You feel like you're better or more responsive? Like, you know, is anything changed as far as your professional life as going through the course? Um, well, my signature changed on my email. At <laughs> that <laughs> so, is different. That is different. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, also, I feel like I have more confidence in what I'm doing because, you know, now I have my certification. I've proved that I'm able to meet these requirements. So I know I can do it. I think sometimes I'm just second guessing myself. But now that mm -hmm. I have it, I'm like, now I have all these tools and the knowledge. Now I'm able to put it to work. And yeah, I have more self-confidence in regards to it. So, That's cool. oh, I did want to say one thing about um, my emotions that day and okay. meditation, right? So yeah. I did, when I went to go buy my coffee that morning, I right. bought somebody's coffee behind me or whatever they had ordered for the day, just to put positive vibes out there, karma, just to get. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it takes, I'll put that into the program. If you want a little extra right. boost from the universe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just buy a cup of coffee for somebody. Yeah, that could work. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Now, um, let me just ask you. Like a lot of people ask me, I don't know what's what's the one question. Let me pull it up. Uh, where is it? Uh, here, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Where is it? I'm, I'm like on this thing on the side. Uh, should you memorize anything? Like, should a student memorize anything? Pew, pew. Um, I thought. I was, you know, at the end, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should be following all and re remembering all the inputs and the outputs. And I was thinking, I was like, no, as long as I've had a core understanding of how everything connects and what is used in what process, but I didn't remember, I didn't memorize all the inputs or outputs at all. I understood what, what took place in each work group mm -hmm. and why and why it was needed. And I understood it. And then going over time, I think just going over it and what is required. But no, I don't think memorizing um, all the inputs and outputs is, I didn't. And I understood the workflow. And I mean, I looked at them, but, and I mm -hmm. went through your program, how they connected and saw certain familiar patterns through each of them. But yeah, no, I don't think them. At least, you know, the process groups, the knowledge groups and how they connect and how they work together. I think that understanding it as a whole is the best to do. Agreed. hundred percent agree. All right. Um, so you've seen a bunch of, you have perspective and, and all honesty, you probably made some mistakes in the past, right? You failed twice. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, like, what are the biggest mistakes that you think PMP students could and could make out there? Um, I think trying to force yourself to read and do certain uh, workbooks that are recommended. I bought all the read books and um, they didn't work for me. Like, I went through them and there's a lot of detail in them that is not really required on the test at all and it's just an overkill and i think when you're trying to study for the for the pmp test 
it, you already have so much information that you need to consume. And so then I started just freaking out because there was more information. I'm like, oh my gosh, do I need to remember, memorize this? And, and it's not the core areas of the, of what the structure for PMP that you really need to have an understanding for. I think it's kind of wasting your time with it. Um, and it's not the core principles or the foundation. It goes very much into the weeds where you don't need to be and then you start focusing on other areas and trying making sure you remember those areas and it, it's not mm -hmm. needed so yeah and i bought her flashcards, her workbook everything and yeah. we can call her and try to get your money back i don't know uh, i don't think she's <laughs> gonna answer uh but it's all right it's all just process we just learn that we don't need to go and you broke up a good point like there's a there's a bajillion data points in the world that we could learn and like, right. it's just how we learn them and how we think about them that I realized with all the students that that matters. So it's like, instead of taking every single letter and word and cramming into our brain without any right. kind of perception and understanding, like that's just a waste. And it's not mm -hmm. how you run your life or your project. So if we change it and we get the big picture and we see the flows and we know how to interpret and use it, then you have a much better like ability to grasp the material than just blanketly you know, boringly, you know, unthinkingly, you know, memorizing. So I yeah. concur. Yeah. I concur. That's cool. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's think about this. So there's probably people out there and they said, okay, I won't do what you just said. All right. What are some like steps that someone can take? Or what would you say the biggest thing that you would advise for struggling students right now to like get to a point where they're like you smiling and happy and on to the next thing? Like, What would you your advice for those struggling students? Um, I would say, suggest strongly to take this your accelerator program because it really breaks it down. Um, mm -hmm. I'm one to actually, I have to write it down too, as I'm seeing it just for notes. Mm -hmm. And I used a lot of color. I don't know why, because it makes it stand out for me for certain areas. And that's just what helped me, um, mm -hmm. taking a lot of notes and then going back through it again to make sure I had an understanding to be able to re redigest that information again and be able to share it with somebody else. I even tried to share, I shared it with my husband and broke it down to him to see if he could understand it. And if he had more questions on it, then I would share with him. But yes, I felt like your accelerator program, taking notes, writing it down, going back through those notes. And then if I had any other questions about it, um, going back to the PMBOK and reading that section that maybe could elaborate, elaborate a little bit more in detail. Mm -hmm. And then also, I think teaching it to somebody else in your family, your husband, your kids, anybody. That <sighs> <laughs> dog, yeah. If you can teach the dog PMP, you got it. All right. right. If the dog can pick it up, you got it. Uh, I think those are really, really good points. Like nailing it down. Like we've actually, like, uh, like right now, I am uh, finishing the next revision of the workbook that we have in there, and I'm adding like more lessons, more like you know things to uh, for fill in the blanks and other kind of reference questions. And then the one section that we're adding in every module is like, hey take really focused notes on what you think is most important, what questions you have. And it just kind of like compartmentalizes the mind to say, we're only going to think about it right now. Let's do what, you know, Liz said to do. And then mm -hmm. let's take you know, those things, teach them, ask the coaches, ask me. And then if they're bad, put them on the evaporating data dump and we can double down on them. So yeah. I like what you're saying because it fits. So that's awesome. All right, Liz. Well, I am really, really happy how you did. I'm proud of how you did. And I'm glad we were able to help. So thank you thank again. You. And this will not be the last time we chat. So thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Hold on one second. Uh, one more thing. We're adding this one feature. If you're cool with it, like with these little, uh, let me write a little Cardi thing. I got to create a banner. Um, it's called like, like I talked to a bunch of students and um we're having like a little youtube -y thing where we're going to do like short videos with each student. And it's like, uh, I wish I knew this when I started. Uh, so we're asking uh, every student that goes through, like, what did they wish they knew when they started? If it would have saved me a bunch of time, effort, pain, tears, all that other junk. And so what I would really um, 
ask you if, not to ask too much, but I'm not afraid to ask too much. Uh, you can just like, yes, ma'am. Well, be careful about that. Uh, because I got a lot of desires in business life. We're good. Um, two things. Like if you just start off and like, just be yourself, talk openly and just, you know, ramble on how you want to. Um, and you just start out cause it won't have me on the front end and say, I wish I knew this when I started. The thing I wish I knew when I started was blah, 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 blah. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever, no pressure, no nothing. Just whenever you feel confident, uh, just the w thing I wish I knew when I started was it would have saved me a blah. And just honestly, I don't know. Think about like what you wish you knew when you started. Cause maybe you didn't have to go through the, the pain you went through. Oh yeah. Uh, so take it away whenever you're ready. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Um, I wish I knew when I started this that your P, your accelerator program existed or else I wouldn't have gone to the boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have been out like $2,500. So, yeah. That's cool. What about the boot camp like was terrible for you? Like I know that you wish, you, hey, this was existing, but like what about the boot camp was bad? Like what did you think? Oh, we just went, it was like a rush through all the information in an eight hour day. And they're just throwing all this information for you uh, at you each day. And you're just trying to digest it. But they did not even walk through the whole workflow of PMP. They were just hitting each point and they didn't go, okay, we're going to go through the planning area. We're going to go through the um executing process they just threw it all out there we're going to go through procurement at the end um team building but they didn't incorporate how each process works together and how it all connects at all they just touched high level of each area in an eight hour day in a 40 hour week and at the end of it i was just like i'm mentally exhausted uh but just what just happened like what what do I, what did I get from that? I'm not ready to take the test. Like, so, mm -hmm. and, and I actually went through it twice. Cause I was like, and cause you could go through it once. And then if you paid for it once, you could do it again if you want to. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it again. Maybe it'll make more sense twice. And I'm like, I still don't know how they connect. Like, am I missing something? Am I not? And then I'm like, okay, so do I take out the pin box now and start reading it from beginning to end? And I, it didn't work. And then so I actually ran across your book on Amazon because I was trying to find something that I could listen to while I took the kids to school. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go online. So I found your website and it said, um, email me if you have any questions or problems and sure enough like i emailed you you sent a video clip because you were out i believe at your child's birthday at a the jumping <laughs> place yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah i remember that <laughs> yes. yeah like i can't get to you today but i want to set up a meeting and and you just expressed to me how you could help and i was like oh gosh this is going to be another one that they try to get me into a boot camp but no it wasn't like i you reached out and i was like i even told my mom i was like i've never had anybody take time out of their day and say the what they can do and they want to actually help me succeed and um and she's like wow that's great so then i was like i need to move forward with this and i saw all your reviews and online as well because i wanted to make sure i was doing the best thing but yeah um your passion and everybody on your team's passion is what struck me as well as different and people that I work with now or other coworkers that I had in the past, when they're trying to get their PMP, I direct them your way. Cause I really wish I would have known you the first time, three times after three, uh, three feet of books later that I have. So, <laughs> um, but yes, I am so glad I came upon this path and was able to get your team's guidance and your support and, um, your true appreciation for really wanting people to succeed and understand this. So, oh, I appreciate it. <clears throat> Made me cry. Uh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, Liz, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.